In the past four years that I've been on YouTube, I've created content in various forms, but all in a storytelling fashion. And I've done many series. I've done Stranded, The Beginning of the End, Gone, the vlog series now, with being the most recent one. But the thing that people don't realize that I'm here to tell you today is that everything that I've ever done on YouTube is connected. It's connected in a spider web of ideas. A grander storyline is barely being unveiled here today. This is the calm before the storm, but I like to call it season one. Now, before I get into the juice of how everything is connected, you must go watch the vlog series. Now, fortunately for you, I have compiled everything into one watchable video, and it being an hour long, it's the video that's posted right before this one. I highly suggest go checking it out because that is the catalyst that brings everything to a head. And I'll explain why in just a minute. Okay. Now, if you're watching this point, I assume you've already watched the vlog series and needless to say, spoilers ahead because what I'm about to say will blow your mind if the vlog series hasn't already. Now, let's begin by introducing you to three characters that you are already well acquainted with, but you just don't know it yet. The characters are, first up, we have Zombie. He is the guy that just wants to grow his YouTube channel. He wants an audience, a platform to express his creativity. He uses it as a pastime. He has a drive for it and he has a passion for it. Now, let's talk about Kyle. Also a familiar face that you've seen. Um, the only difference between him and Zombie is the fact that Kyle calls himself Kyle. He is the version of Zombie from the alternate timeline, which you have already uh, been acquainted to if you had watched the vlog series. And now the third character. He has yet to truly make an appearance, although you've already seen him if you watched my channel early on in its stages. Zombie Mayhem 19, or the creator, you have seen him in Dreamscape. Dreamscape. Um, he was the voice, uh, the consciousness, and this is, as I'm talking to you now, I am considered Zombie Mayhem 19. I am the creator. That is my truest form as a content creator, as a YouTuber, as a person. You are going to learn a lot, and I mean a lot, about him coming real shortly. Now, these three characters you have seen on different points all over the channel, but you must, uh, if you haven't already, ask yourself, why am I seeing all three characters? Especially Zombie and Kyle, that doesn't make sense. They're from two different dimensions, but I'm seeing their videos both on the same platform, the same dimension. Some videos he calls himself Kyle, some he calls himself Zombie, and then there's Zombie Mayhem 19. How does he fit in the equation? Why can I hear him? Now all of this lies, the answers lie in the last 10 minutes of the vlog series. Not not the credits, but the beforehand. Um, at the very end of the vlog series, after the big conversation between the three characters. Um, there's a moment where Kyle is doing a bit of a of an ending, or not Kyle, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm starting to get confused now. Um, zombie, zombie version to uh, the version of him who never got kidnapped, who has this new chance to, uh, who changed, the timeline has changed in his favor, him. He is going to give just his normal standard vlog video. He still goes about that. He's closing out the video, but you hear a, you hear a low rumbling in the background. And you can hear it, but he doesn't yet. He's going on and on, talking, just talking to his audience. But then a ringing pops up. And it starts grows louder and louder, and then soon he gets a headache, and it starts hurting his head so intense that he passes out and falls on the ground. Now, 
I never expected people to catch on to what this was, but this is a very key element. The reason why he's in the dreamscape, and the reason why you can see both the videos of Kyle and Zombie the same place. Now, if you remember, um, there's a point where the first version of Zombie mentions the timelines are changing. He doesn't need to exist anymore. That's why he faded out, and so did Kyle. Future Kyle. The one who did kidnap. And they both faded out. Now, I understand the whole idea about time travel and interdimensional travel. That can all get a little hairy, so that's why I did all the work for you. <laughs> so, when Kyle transferred over that Halloween night to kidnap Zombie and put him in his reality. But the door that closed, the one that Darius went into, it closed and that closed the portal. You'll notice this actually when they open the door and Darius, who just closed it, is no longer in the room. You'll notice he is, he closed the portal between the, the two dimensions. And this is key. So now thinking about it this way. Kyle and Zombie are both in the same dimension, and the other dimension that Zombie, wow, well, my bad, the Kyle left from when it closed. Well, now that dimension doesn't have his version of this person. It doesn't have its Kyle. His Kyle is in a different dimension, and so that's why that noise happens, because that is the dimensions, the realities fusing together because it, the dimension that realizes it's Kyle is missing finds it's Kyle and the other dimension is like hey that's where he's at that's where we need to be at we will collapse without him so in an effort to save our own selves let's latch on to the universe that he's in the dimension that he's, he's in the reality and so that's what was happening that noise it was fusing together the two and that was of course too intense and Zombie fell into a coma. And so now the two dimensions are here in one. They fuse together, and that's how come some videos in the past you you see you see him call himself Kyle, but you some you see himself call himself Zombie. And originally you probably thought this is just an inconsistency. Oh, his name is Kyle. But no. His name is Kyle. That's that's his character. And now the two dimensions are one. And that's why you can see all the videos. But now, but now there's Zombie Mayhem 19. How does he come into play? Zombie Mayhem 19, otherwise known as Creator, and I will call him the Creator because it's easier to say than Zombie Mayhem 19, 19 billion times. The Creator created the channel. He was the first founder. He made these videos. He is, like I said, the truest form of myself, the person talking to you now. I am considered the creator, um, or you can call me, I guess, just, uh, just call me the creator. And let's, let's just stick to one name. Um, I am him. I'm talking to you now. Hi, uh, I'm the creator. Nice to meet you. So he created the YouTube channel. He created the ideas, the content. That's also why he's the consciousness inside the head of Zombie. He is the person who, where, that's where that drive comes from, him. That's why he creates. Now, he is before, whenever I am talking to you in my truest form, I call myself Zombie Mayhem 19. In the very beginning, before I have in ever introduced the idea of creating a story and acting out in in the story the be the first time i ever did that was the beginning of the end where i acted out as the character henry i believe it was it was quite a while ago i was my truest self i would zombie mayhem 19 and that's why you saw those videos there and i didn't really reintroduce him until the dreamscape four years later but those are the three characters the three main characters of the series well, 
three of the four main characters. And that's something I'm not touching in on. I'm keeping that a secret. I'm coming out with a video shortly. Um, basically, well, I'll let him do the talking. Um, but rest assured, I have decided... Uh, I've made a decision. And... I do believe I will be continuing the story. Just because, well, it seemed like a lot of people actually were really digging it that I wasn't sure about. So that's how everything is connected to each other. Now, I could go into details, but there are so much already that I could say, but that would spoil so much for you. But I will I'll give you an idea of what's connected, specifically what where the direct connections are. Story time in the beginning within. It's a series within a series. Stranded is connected to the beginning of the end. Stranded is connected to the story time. Stranded is connected to Ace of Spades, which is connected to Thirsty Games, which is connected to Stranded, which is connected to the vlog series. And the vlog series is just where it begins. This is where everything comes to a head, where everything connects together. And I've got so much planned after this that you were going to love. You're really going to love. I've got a lot of rewriting to do, though. But. But if you thought the vlog series was good, <laughs> then you have no idea what to expect next. But trust me, it's going to blow your socks off. So now that you understand how everything is connected and the three characters, I'm going to take this opportunity because I actually was planning for this video to be a lot longer than it was. I'm in like, I think, 12 minutes now, and I've already kind of covered everything, so I'm going to waste your time for a bit more. But if you are actually, if I've interested you in the channel, and now you're like really digging it, I'm going to just take a minute and talk to you about the videos that I make about what how things came to be and my youtube app is not responding well there we go um just talk about it a bit i don't talk to you guys enough about uh about anything that i do so i'm gonna take a bit and talk about it um let's start off with story time let's just go right from the beginning and i talked about it in the very first video that i ever made um i wanted to start a youtube channel um, in fact, better backstory, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel about six, no, ever since YouTube really first started started up, it started up back in 2005, six, seven, something like that, about 2008 is about when I actually started want, wanted to make a YouTube channel, and I've wanted to do a gaming YouTube channel, um, which I have dabbled in, but I found my expertise, or my, uh, my... I found I found my content um, so I actually created a YouTube channel my sophomore year of high school um, I had YouTube channels before never knowing what to post on it but it wasn't until my friend at the time Kristen she went ahead and started up her own YouTube channel and I thought in my head wow I let someone beat me to it that's not fair I'm just gonna create my YouTube channel now and I, I went ahead I did I found the right username and I really was thinking, you know, what content can I make? Um, I need something now. Now, I can't game. I, I don't have the, the equipment to game. But what I can do is I can write stories. I like writing stories. I like creating stories. I will write the story. I will read it. And then I will overlay images, which I didn't find out till editing it, that I couldn't overlay images. So that's why pretty much all the story times suck. Um, but they're fun to listen to. And then uh, I just kind of went with it. Whatever I felt like creating, I took inspiration. Um, Black Fang, I took inspiration from Pathfinder. I was really into Pathfinder at the time. I still am. Uh, Gone Part 1, that was just a really cool idea I had. Same with Gone Part 2. Sorry I didn't finish the third. Okay, you know. I told you what happened in an update video. I told you what happens in it, and I don't remember what update video that was. But I think I had Gone on the title, though. 
Haunted, uh, that's just another one I came up with. Dream Theory, really Doctor Who-ish, plus I really like the idea of a dream within a dream. Also really inspired from Inception. The Assassin, of course, from uh, Assassin's Creed. Diary of a Madman. <laughs> this is not one I'm proud of, but I, I, I just gave into the dark side, the dark part of my mind that really was interested in murder and gore and things like that, and I created Diary of a Madman, which I got a lot of backlash from uh, friends, family, so I never made another one. Even though I actually had a couple planned, I never made another one. Uh, beginning of the end, I liked zombies. I wanted to do something zombies. I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a series out of it. I had plans for part two, part, uh, or sorry, for a uh, volume two, volume three, actually, but I never went through with them. Uh, I just, I lost interest. Cake, I just wanted a Christmas video. Go Ring of the Goblin King, I wanted to make the story times a yearly thing every year on my birthday i was gonna post one and i actually had another one planned um because i kind of dropped off doing story time around that around after that time um in fact after that's haunted part two and that's the last time i uploaded a story time uh, oh it's up there that's why okay <laughs> my thing was out of order um but then i i had most of it filmed and I actually was going to uh, edit it the correct way, but it was a lot of work and I really wasn't feeling it and I was running out of time, so I abandoned it. And then I stopped doing story times altogether. Commercials. Um, all of, uh, La Olvidar. <laughs> that was a Spanish project. Um, I filmed it with Rainy, uh, Alejandra, Rachel. Uh, someone else was in it, I think. I don't remember. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I didn't know anything I was saying. Denial. Paha. Both of those for um, for my film class. That's what prompted those. Music. I just really liked Rise and Shine, Corporal Dick Face. I thought it was funny. I wanted to see what I could do with it. I made a song out of it. I still like the song. It was my ringtone for a while. Uh, bloopers. Just anything. Whenever I film with friends, I always find that I would get funny behind the scenes and so I decided to dedicate a video to it and I went with it until I stopped making skits and focused on see on uh see a uh, more of a series sort of format which I didn't have as many bloopers so that's why you don't see any uh, bloopers for stranded because there were none really um so stranded I talked about it in the truth about stranded I don't remember exactly what I said so I'm gonna recap briefly I made the very first stranded because I was over at Jack's house and I was like, let's do something. And I already had this character about him where he was this kidnapper. I it's, That was just a joke that we went with. And then I was like, you know what? Let's make a video dedicated to it. And it's just, it'll just be one video. I'll leave it on a cliffhanger and it will probably won't go from there. Posted it. And I didn't realize I really like this. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to make another. And then time lagged on. And then I had to work into the story why time uh, went by, a lot, why a lot of time went by. And at the time, I actually watched, um, uh, was it this time? No, it wasn't. It wasn't yet. Later on, it was. But then I worked into the story, and then I realized, I was like, hey, I'm working into the story why all this time is passed in real life. Even though people know it's fake, I'm going to pass this off like it's real life. And I did. And then I wrote a story about it while camping and the rest is history um i did have plans for a part two and dear god i have rewritten part two like stranded two which i was gonna call stranded alone uh, i don't think that's gonna happen just because life is getting in the way and things like that and you'll hear more about that in my other video but uh, i've rewritten stranded two like four times but at the same time, I don't want to overdo it. And so it's probably best that I don't do Shanded 2. 30 Day No Sitter Challenge. I heard that water was going to help me with my acne. So I decided to make a video out of it. Uh, let's go to my skits. Uh, Bonnie and Clyde, the talent show video. Not my video, but I, 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 I was the uh, producer of it, I guess. I put it on my channel. Um, and plus, I really like it. I was in it. But I didn't write it. I didn't edit it. I didn't do anything like that. And it showed at the talent show. Uh, Ace of Spades, that was for an English project that I took 
I, I had to research a topic and I chose uh, my friend Chris and I, we chose uh, gangsters of the 1920s because we just, we both liked that topic. And then I was like, I'm in this mood of making videos. I want to make a video out of this. And I talked to my, uh, my teacher and he's like, if you make a video out of it, we'll, we'll show it as long as it's, you know, like not bad. I'm like, oh, oh, it won't be. It'll be good. And we showed it and I really like it. In fact, I had plans to make three sequels to it. Uh, it was, and all played off the Ace of Spades. It was like King of Hearts, uh, Jack of Jack of Spades, Queen of Diamonds, I think it was. But I never fell through with those. Toast. That was a uh, that was a video that I did for history my senior year where we had to do 50s uh, television shows of the 50s. So I decided to recreate a bunch uh, with some of my friends, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Not the best quality entertainment. Some of them kind of fell short, but uh, all in all, I really liked it. Thirsty Games. Oh, now this one. This one, as well of Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades gets shown, well, at the time, uh, I found out the next year that the my English class still showed Ace of Spades to his class. And I was like, you're showing my video to a class I'm not in? Why? He's like, because it's good. And I want people to have reference. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, which it really turned out, well, oh, I'm, I might revisit it. I don't know. I really like the idea. Thirsty Games, uh, best video. Best video. The, the same same uh, premise as Ace of Spades. I had to research a topic, but I decided to make a video out of it. My teacher was cool with it. So we showed it, and I got a lot. I got a great, a, a positive, really positive response from it, and I really liked the way it turned out. The editing of it was so beautiful. The And the part where Curtis Cox's gun, I don't think that anyone realized that those were two different music tracks blending together perfectly. The Vietnam video I did also for history. Um, this one didn't plan, pan out as well. I had to rewrite a lot, and we had to work with what we had and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. That's why I said in it that I will remake, even though I probably won't remake it just because I explained in the next video. <laughs> um, High School of the Dead. This was the talent show video. The, the, the topic was zombies. And I said, if we're doing zombies, I'm taking over this project because I will do zombies good. And she's like, okay. And so uh, I had a co-writer, even though I basically wrote out the entire thing. And I was like, hey, I sent the idea to her, and she's like, hey, what do you think of this? She's like, I like it. Let's do it. So I'm like, okay. And I that's why I also, I was like, I'll incorporate myself into it, but I want to be behind the camera for this. I don't want to make myself the star of this. Besides, I'm not the host. Then the stars are the host. So I killed my character off pretty soon, and then I took it from there, and I liked it. And if you liked the zombies that I did, um, like I feel like I have untapped potential with zombies, and... I am in the works right now of writing out a better, a better, more dedicated zombies video, which I am really, really excited for. Real Ghost Caught on Camera, I wanted to do a, a Halloween themed video, and I just told Annie, I was like, hey, let's do this. And she's like, okay, I'll do it. And we filmed it. Real short, real simple. I liked it. Halloween video, now this gets to the vlog series, and... I'm sure at this point you already know all about the vlog, uh, all about the Halloween video. Um, let me see here. How to be a movie star? That's just back behind the scenes of my film. Um, nothing more, nothing less than that. Other, okay. So a little bit of uh, actual Into the Dreamscape. That should be in skits. Uh, I'll move it later. A um, little bit of backstory for some of these. Uh, let's start with the just don't do it video i've mentioned this before this was my most successful video um to date most successful it's got seventy six thousand views right now which blew away my exp i expected this video to get 30 views and it just took off like an airplane like it was it was crazy <laughs> i was like Th these numbers are these numbers are wrong right like there's no way i'm getting this much but still, it is by far the funniest video on my channel. You should go watch it if you haven't already. Um, Panic of the Disco, the memories um, video. I made that purely for Rainy, who was going to perform it at the talent show, but unfortunately got sick. 
and wasn't able to do it, but she needed a instrumental version. And I looked online and I found one and I was like, you know what? Let me work my, my magic. And I was like, I'll post it on YouTube. Now you can access it. And you know what? I don't see any instrumentals out there. Now I'll get some traction. 9,000 views, which is my second most popular video. Talent show promo. That's just whenever I have school stuff, I always volunteer. Let's post it on my channel just because I have a channel. It's active. And um, by all means, I have no problem posting it there. So anything lip sync, I have a bunch of lip sync videos. Uh, that's where they are. Am I a update? That should be in information, not there. Um, just an update video. Listen, we have a talk and I'm sorry. That was me coming clean about a few things that I had actually been lying about at the time. Sorry, a hair got on my uh, phone. I did not like that. Romeo and or react the first time I ever did a react video. Assassins and Romeo and Juliet. These were my very first two videos I've ever made. Um, that actually had me in it. I may used to make a bunch of things with my army men and uh, video game music. I play in the background and I record and I do voices and I make a little story out of it, but those were all home entertainment sort of videos, never published online, anything like that. I would like to recover those actually, but I realize it is a lost cause at this point. Um, but besides that, I made the Assassin's video because Kyle Curtis and I really liked Assassin's Creed and we really wanted to make a video like this. So we did. And then, um, Post it on Facebook, and that's where it stayed until I decided to bring it to YouTube. Romeo and Juliet, I did that as an 8th grade project. I did not write it. I did not do anything besides edit it and post it. And that was my first... Um, if you don't count the assassins, just because I wasn't in it as much, um, but I, I took more of a... I took more initiative on the Romeo and Juliet video, and you could consider Romeo and Juliet being my very first video. Especially one that I posted on YouTube. Um, it was on Facebook, and I think my friend posted it on her YouTube. I could be wrong on that, but then I went ahead and posted it. Uh, Storytime raw footage. That's just raw footage, because I, I thought the recording was pretty funny. Lip sync, YouTube censorship, and what it means. Just me giving an update the new YouTube policies. When Professor Duck is, gets hungry, we decide to make a McDonald's run. So my friend, Anthony, he got this duck mask at a Halloween store, and it's in it, him wearing it in public got a really a lot of really funny responses a lot of people really enjoyed that so i was like let's make a video out of it and i think it turned out really well 2017 is gonna be savage now nah, it's just a one-off video three years already pd5 versus wall street just nah that's not really anything a uh, little teapot featuring little john i just thought it was funny i had the idea i ran with it my day in a nutshell work stuff april fool's prank that's just me trying to prank rainy it fell through easily i got a tattoo that was real high school memories just um i don't know why i did that i think i just did it to do it i liked it though americans try japanese candy we actually did try japanese candy that's that uh my cruise to mexico I actually went on a cruise to mexico that's also where i filmed stranded number 14 i think it is 16 maybe even um really fun had a lot of a lot of fun there and nothing else on the other section is important. Information, that's just, honestly, that's just whatever. Oh, let me look in the trailers. Um, I almost forgot about this. Boy from my blackmail. That's just for the high school play. Rob Dyke, so you want to be a YouTuber contest, which I also call Hit List. Um, because that's the name of the fake video that I made. But I like the idea. And the idea for it was never show my face, never make a sound. Everything, everything is going to be tell, told through music, through actions, through the physical, and through music. I never wanted to say anything, and I never wanted to re reveal my face, mainly because I because if I ever decided to bring this back, I didn't want to be in it. I didn't want to be the main. I wanted someone else to, and I wanted to be able to hide my face so that we could film with someone else if need be. Let me get cut up to the vlog series, which you already know. Now, I did actually want to take a moment. Um, I did talk about the vlog series at the end of the big video, but I said I was going to talk more about it here, so that's what I'm doing to you, for you. It was never intended to be a series at first. I mean, yes, I did like the idea of telling a story and 
convincing people is real. I tried it on Shannon, but I wanted to do it on an upper, on a higher scale, and that's why I did the vlog series. Now, at the time, I just finished watching, binge watching, actually, uh, the Psycho series by McJuggernuggets. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Really entertaining video, and it really, really made an impact on my YouTube. Um, because after that, um, I actually started my vlog series, and I wrote out the story for it. Um, I did write a story beforehand, but I abandoned it. I abandoned it uh, just because I realized things weren't going to pan out that way, and I needed a different way. And I wanted to give a really good story. I wanted to build you guys up for a year. I It always was going to be for a year at least, where it was going to be real videos, real vlogs. Plus, I wanted to try out vlogging, so this gave, gave, gave me a good outlet for it. But then I saw the Psycho series, of course, and I re and then I realized that's all connected. All his videos are connected, and I fell in love with that idea. So I was like, okay, let me write a story where all my videos on YouTube are connected, and that's what I did, and that's how vlog series came to be. Um, and now, like I said, that is only season one of my YouTube career. Um, I will continue the series. No, the series is done. The series is done. The story is not over. No. Oh, it is not over. But I have some rewriting to do. And um, in the off time that I am explaining in the other video, which I do still recommend you go check out, I will be taking that time to rewrite the series. Or I keep calling this series. Rewrite the storyline. Figure out a way to make it better. Because there's so much that I messed up on in uh, while filming this. Just because it was, like I explained, the biggest project I've ever done. And, of course, I forgot a few pieces here and there. Which, I mean, I'm kind of glad did pan out that way. Because I had to rewrite after all. Uh, things weren't planning out storyline-wise. So I have to reconsider some stuff figure out how to do things there are are a few elements that I still must incorporate so you can get the idea of the story but my stomach rumbled <laughs> but the story's not done in fact I'm looking at here a, a pa piece of paper and it says here the vlog series and I have red lines drawing everywhere to the names of different series what's the name of there are going to be more series that are connected to the storyline. What is this? And it's explaining to me the name of the series, what key storyline element happens in it, how it's connected, what it's connected to. What is this? There's a lot to come. And season two is just around the corner. I don't know when it's going to start. But when it starts, it's going to start off with a bang. But I will give you a little bit of information. Right before Kyle's last video, before he faded out, and I don't know if it was the one right before it, but the one, it was one of the two. It was when everybody, if you notice, if you watch that video, everybody in the house left to go shopping. So he's recording a scene. He's talking about the concert that he's going to be going to. In fact, it was the week right before the concert, but then you hear a noise. And he goes to the door and he sees Annie walk into the closet and then disappear. That will be explained. If you remember the video, Maddie gives Zombie back his class ring. And she said it interested her. That will be explained. And... When Kyle walked, uh, when, sorry, when Zombie walked into the house in his hands, which it was hard to see. I could have maybe filmed that a bit better, but his hand was magnetized to that drawer. And there wasn't a magnet on the inside or anything like that, but he could not move his hand. But you notice in the small little details, his hand was firmly against it. He couldn't move it until he decided to open the drawer and then his hand moved with ease and he found the gun. That will be explained. And the coma that he's in, why he's in it, 
what that out of body experience means that will be explained which uh by the way i will mention i did not mention in the actual dreamscape video i did want to mention at the time that video takes place it is march that is important to know um so yeah a lot to come but it'll come when it comes and i'm gonna close out the video here i hit the 30 minute mark i think that's a reasonable time for uh the video um i will say it here because i said it in every in my other video follow me on social media i have all my links in the description below snapchat twitter uh, instagram follow me there to keep updated with my life because and i will get to it more on in the next video but i am taking a little break from youtube and i don't know when i'm gonna come back but I have decided I am going to come back. So the information in the other video where I said, I don't know if I'm going to come back, just disregard that. Just disregard that. I've already got plans to come back, okay? I like this. I like this a lot. And putting together the vlog series, coming out with that video, made me remember how much I liked it. And plus, I got my family psyched up. My, I, my, okay, what I always do, because there is huge puzzle pieces that you are missing in the vlog series that you still are probably going to have questions for, Nobody knows. Nobody knows, which is a first. In fact, I think Randy might know. Okay, one person might know. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think one person knows. But whenever I have this really cool idea that I'm passionate about, I tell people, I usually tell my family, if I'm, ex if I'm keeping them updated about things, or my friends, or anyone that's updated, and I really can't, I can trust not to go spreading out secrets and telling everyone what's happening. I tell them, but I have told next to no one what's happening, what any of this means. Okay. Nobody. In fact, when I right before the vlog series came out, um, the day before, I did a showing with my family. Uh, we watched it, and surprisingly, the person who was most who was most interested with the storyline was John um, who really had questions who really had questions and so I was like you know what I'll explain to them I'll, I'll tell them it, it's not going to matter they're going to be moving to another state I'm going to tell them and then so I was starting my introduction John said don't he said save it save it leave us on a cliffhanger and finish this I was like Really, you don't want me to explain anything. He said, no, don't. So, I kind of have a commitment now. <laughs> now I need to finish the series. So no one knows, but oh my God, I do. And I am so incredibly excited to start working on what's next. Season two is going to be 10 times better than season one, for sure. Now that I have a direction where I'm going, now that everything kind of makes sense a little bit but the more is gonna start to make you know start to make sense over time i am really really excited for this but i'm gonna go follow me on social media trust me you won't be disappointed i'm highly active on snapchat um i'm gonna go now though i'll do my normal outro just because i am the creator zombie mayhem 19 so if you like this video and you want to see more of it click that subscribe button get bit and join the zombie nation today my name is zombie mayhem, zombie mayhem 19 or the creator and i will see you guys in the next video peace out